Hi everyone, this is Ms. Vera, and today we will be working on numbers, more specifically 101 um, correspondence. What well, pretty much that is, is we are giving numbers meanings, and we are teaching our students um, how many objects pertain to what number. So um, today you will need your number cards, numbers 1 through 5. Um, mine look like this today, but you guys do have these specific ones. There you go. Um, Feel free to use those if you want to make your own or if you want to use a clear sheet of paper in order to create it. Um, our number line. So what I'm, I plan on doing with the number cards or I would want you to do with the number cards is line them up. So they are, excuse me, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. Well, what I would want you to do um, on a flat surface is put out your number cards like so and create your own number line that the students can use in order to count the objects as far as objects go what i have here um are marbles and they look like this um these are just some things i picked up at the dollar store um a free um alternative would be um some rocks from outside some noodles um blocks um anything that your student would be able to grasp at home um dollar bills if that's a vocational goal for them that would be great to due to um, my setup i will be using my board and writing in it instead of using manipulatives a way to execute this on your own um, based on your students needs would be to model before expecting them to do it. Um, different students are gonna need different levels of support. For example, some students will just need simple point prompting, other students will need full on hand over hand. Um, redirections are more than encouraged if they get distracted. Um, but what I would want you to do is, for example, if you say, hey, we're gonna count to number two, okay? So let's say you have your number line set out and then you're gonna want to ask them or encourage you to ask them when, if they need more, if they need to stop. Um, pretend that my number line says one through five, just for this example. But you'll wanna say, hey, we're looking for number two. I'm gonna show you what number two looks like or counting the two looks like. We always start at number one. I need, and this is a sign for more, more because I'm stopping at two. So you add another one like so. It looks like this. And then you say, hey, I have one, two marbles. I wanted to stop at two. I have two. So we're going to stop. You want to erase whatever you had done or take it off. And then you want to have them do it. Okay. And encourage them to use a communication device for more or finished or use sign language. Alrighty then, let's get started. And like I said, I will be using my whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. Just fix it. All right, let's get started. Our first number that I want to count to is five. I want to count to number five. So please, friends, on your number line, can you find number five? We want to make sure we're giving enough processing time um, and enough time for them to give us a response. So we want to be patient. Five five is over here good job so we're going to count to five and i want you guys to tell me when i need to stop okay so remember we always start at number one so put your first block on number one one i wanted to get to five so that means i need more. You show me more. Tell me, Miss Vera, you need more. So we're going to add another one under number two. Two. Remember, we said we wanted to get to five, and we determined that five is all the way over here. So do we need more circles, or do I need to stop? You guys are right, I need more. So I'm gonna add another one under number three. So right now we have one, two, three. 
We need more because I'm trying to get to number five. So let's add another one. And now we're on number four. I want you guys to tell me, do I need more or do I need to stop? I need more. So let's add another one. That gets us to five. I wanted five. So I want you to tell me, do I need more or do I stop? If you said, I need to stop, then you are correct. Good job. Five. One, two, three, four five all right moving on erase take off any manipulatives you put on your number line we're going to start over with a different number all right the next number i want to count to is number two please find number two on your number line two i found it my two is there all right but we always start at number one. So let's put our first block on number one. <coughs> Excuse me. What? I want to get to number two. So do I need more or do I stop? Remember, we said two is right here. You guys are right. I need more. So I'm going to add a blog and make sure you're adding a blog on number two. 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 Now think, do I need more or do I stop? I said I wanted two. You guys are right. I am stopping because I got to number two. Good job. Let's clear our area because we're going to start looking, I mean, counting to a new number. The number I have is four. So find number four on your number line, please. Four. Four. Four is right here. All right. So we're going to count to four. We always start on number one. That never changes. One. We need more. The next number is two. Parents, please feel free to pause me at any time. Two. Do we need more or do we need to stop? What do you guys think? We need more because the number we're trying to get to is four. Now we're at three. Make sure you're putting a block under three. Block, rock, noodle, whatever you guys have. Three. I still want to get to four, so that means I need more. One, two, three, four. We're trying to get to four 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 so do we stop or do we need more think about it i wanted to get to four i have one two three four dots do we stop or do i need more you guys are right we are stopping because we got to four good job let's clear our area no more blocks under your numbers or on your numbers. The next number we're counting to is one. This one's a little bit tricky. We're counting to one and we start with one. So make sure you're watching and you're listening, okay? So you found one on your number line. It's right there and we always start with one. So put a block on number one. One. Do we need more or do we stop? Remember, we only want one manipulative, one block. If you said we are stopping, then you are correct. Because 
we're already at one, okay? So let's clear our area. We have one more number left, and that is number three. Please find number three on your number line. Three. Good job finding number three. Number three on my number line is right here. We always start at number one. Please put a block on number one. Good job finding number one. We need more. That takes us to number two. Two. Now you tell me, do we need more or are we stopping? We said earlier we're looking for number three. So what does that mean? Do we need more or are we stopping? You guys are right. We need more. So that brings us to number three. Three. Do we need more or do we need to stop? We said we just wanted three. You guys are right. We are stopping. We counted one, two, three dots, blocks, noodles, three. Good job counting with me, you guys. Thank you so much for helping me count. Bye.